Yes, it's quite beautiful here. Unfortunately, bull sharks can't see color. Clovis's most disreputable citizens have converged on the area. Capable of killing humans, why the list is practically endless. Right there. Kill or be killed world of the sea. Performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death.
exploded. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating. Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. The pelagic beast surveys the scene with cold, unfeeling eyes. Like me, you're probably wondering what their secret is for such durable papier mache. Supercharged with gene altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. This stealthy predator appears to be seeking food perpetually, stalking its prey day and night.
This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. As is the trend in other coastal towns, long stretches of Port Clovis's shoreline are now the exclusive domain of the wealthy.
Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sight. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Many consider the Gulf Stream to be the world's greatest. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions for such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, birds, and fish. able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Humans have seen less than 5% of our oceans, which means there's still plenty of treasure out there for everybody. One can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake.
Sea sponges demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout Costa Rica. But being brainless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their buying decisions. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. With every feature of its anatomy, the shark's tail is perfectly designed for its unique and fascinating lifestyle. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. The shark uses lipids from high-fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch. Sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything.
bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. offer predators dense protein and a delicious taste, much like a cashew cluster. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. As we face impending resource scarcity and declining living standards, it's nice to know that in the meantime there's still a place to get a good bathroom and massage. fingers, Casanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. Port Clovis City Council never misses an opportunity for cross-franchising. Accelerating destruction of the gulf has occurred in tandem. The bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian cat.
This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. Fort Clovis has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. For more than three-fourths of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spa anywhere to be seen. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. This is quite a find. Although, that depends on the gold market, which has really been underperforming lately. I blame the Fed, of course, but what can you do? Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. by royal decree in ancient Fiji. But this is decidedly not ancient Fiji. There's way more liquor to it. Able-bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. Shark's cartilage can now be utilized for scientifically specious alternative cures and health supplements. Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the graft of beach umbrella renters.
Coastal erosion currently impacts over 70% of the globe's sandy beach environments. Locals seldom miss an opportunity to indulge in mindless, gratuitous slaughter. The able-bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. will now be divvied up with parts of her body sold as conversation piece curio. As the terrain of the Gulf Coast is relatively flat, even a small rise in sea levels could trigger an immense loss of land. Due to Caviar Key's increased coastal exposure, storms that had a minor impact three decades ago caused significant flooding today. The shark, perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks, is now the subject of a county-wide shark.
500 million years of terrestrial evolution reaches its apex with Prosperity Sand's spacious flow-through floor plans. able-bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. tell whether government actions can diminish Port Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hospital. Shark returns once again to her safe haven.
whales are often considered to be the most dangerous sharks due to their aggressive dispositions and ability to attack on land. of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. that we extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. Humans' attention spans are short. We've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. Coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. If a T-Rex is your favorite dinosaur, then you're boring and unoriginal and you need to pick a different favorite dinosaur. <laughs>